Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Logitech K400 Plus keyboard. So as you can see the keyboard is in front of me. It's a little bit smaller than a standard keyboard and one of the things that is obvious just looking at it is that it does not have a number pad. Instead, in lieu of the number pad, it has an integrated touch pad, sort of like on a laptop. So you got your left and right click and a little trackpad. So what is this really used for? Who is this aimed at? Well, as you can see by the sticker up at the top, it's to control PC to TV entertainment from your couch. So I picked this up because, as most of you know, I love little streaming boxes. I watch pretty much everything through Kodi, uh, which is a media center. I highly recommend if uh, you know you're interested in looking for an entertainment solution. But you need something to control it with. So if you've watched my older videos, I've tried like little keyboards and, and remotes and air mouses and all that sort of stuff from uh, places like GearBest and Geek Buying and stuff like that. Uh, but for people who are a little bit hesitant to buy something, you know, a brand that they're not familiar with or importing something from one of these Chinese websites, uh, the Logitech, which again is a name most people recognize, uh, make this device, keyboard, thing, as a potential solution for people who want to be able to control stuff from their couch. So, is it any good? Well, first of all, obviously it's Logitech, so the build quality is pretty solid. It's all plastic, uh, but it feels really good. It's solidly built. Uh, I feel like you can drop this thing and it wouldn't really be that big of a deal. Uh, but let's just quickly take a look at it. So first, everyone wants to know the keys. So there's a bit of travel on the keys but there's no, no flexing, it feels very sturdy. I don't know if you can hear the keys. I'll just try to type a bit. So uh, they feel springy, they feel pretty good, and they don't make a heck of a lot of noise, so it's not gonna distract you when you're trying to watch TV or you know, you're know you searching for a particular YouTube video or whatever and you're typing away. Um, the trackpad feels like a trackpad. Um, it's not really that different to a laptop. The left and right click feel pretty solid. There's, you know, obviously a little bit of noise there, a little bit of clickiness, but uh, feels good. Everything feels pretty good. The keys aren't too small or anything like that, so I appreciate that. One of the things I really like is that above the touchpad here, you have your volume control. So you got volume up, volume down, and mute. This is really handy because if you're in a dark room, um, watching TV or whatever, you may not be able to see the keys here. And I should mention that these are not backlit. So if you like to watch your movies in the dark, you're not going to be able to see much on this keyboard. This is why it's key to have these uh, volume controls above the trackpad because you don't actually have to see them to know that they're there. There are three large, very large buttons and volume up, volume down, and mute would be very easy to find even in pitch black darkness. Anyway, so I really like that aspect of it. But other than that, it's just a standard keyboard. There's nothing really all that impressive about it. Um, let's flick it over, and you'll see here that uh, this is the battery compartment up here. So it actually kind of acts, if you can see there, as a sort of tilt. So when you lay it down flat, it's not actually laying flat. There is a bit of an angle to it, which I prefer because I find it a little bit easier on the wrists if you're doing typing for a long period of time. Not that you'll be sitting on your couch typing for a long period of time, but I just like that sort of design to it. And it's it's very, very subtle. So those of you who like a keyboard to lay completely flat, I don't think you're really going to notice all that much. But this is very comfortable. It's very small, as you can tell by the size of my hands. Uh, it fits in your lap quite comfortably. It's sits in front of you on your coffee table or whatever and it doesn't take up much space but let's flick it over so the battery compartment here is just simply if I can get it off got some two AA batteries in there that's what powers this guy and uh, it's just that compartment right there now here is where you get your little receiver. So Logitech, those of you who have used their products before, uh, have the little unifying receivers. You can connect like up to five peripherals or something with one USB dongle. This uh, applies. So uh, if you're using this with a computer and you have a Logitech mouse and all of those stuff that you want to use, uh, that will work as the unifying thing. But anyway, so you plug that guy into a free USB port either on your computer or your TV box or your TV stick, whatever. 
So that's one of the complaints that I have about this. It's a minor complaint because I don't really have any issue with that. Uh, but for the people who are using a device that doesn't have any free USB ports, I'm just trying to think maybe like an Amazon Fire Stick or something like that, uh, it would have been nice to have Bluetooth uh, in this as well so that you can connect wirelessly so you don't have to worry about the dongle. But like I said, if you're using just uh, you know a standard Android TV box or... Um, you know, anything with a free USB port, whether it's a laptop that you've got connected to your uh, television, whatever, uh, that little USB port uh, works. So, this guy, uh, I've tested it with a variety of different things. I've tested it on Linux, uh, Windows, Mac. I've also tested it on Android uh, TV box, uh, uh, Android TV stick. Um, it works with pretty much everything. It's plug and play, which is really nice. You don't have to really download any drivers, at least in my experience. It's just plug the USB in. It's recognized automatically. If you're using an Android uh, device, if once you move the mouse trackpad around, your finger around on the trackpad, the mouse appears on the screen. You lift it off, it disappears after a little while. Uh, but it does have this little toggle button up here. So if you find that your Android TV box or whatever isn't making the mouse go away, you can just click that and it will go away. Or on, depending on your preference. I've found that the keyboard is instantly recognized. All of the keys work and do what they're supposed to be doing so there's no funny business there um, and yeah you get uh, some hot button controls up here as well and everything in my experience works so the Logitech K400 Plus is available at a variety of different retailers uh, from my understanding the K400 which you might be able to find a little bit cheaper maybe on clearance or maybe on eBay or something like that I think the volume buttons are integrated up here in your uh, like kind of top row function buttons which makes it a little bit trickier to um, adjust the volume in a really really dark room so uh, the K400 plus for me is preferable because they're located over here uh, other than that I didn't really I don't really know of any real difference I mean it looks slightly different uh, between the K400 and the K400 plus uh, from what I understand they're pretty much identical so you would have the same sort of performance with both but uh, the K400 plus uh, works really really well uh, with pretty much everything I plugged it into uh, it's definitely nice and small. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, but again, it's a keyboard, so it's going to take up a heck of a lot more room than a standard remote or whatever. So w depends on what you're after. If you do a little, uh, a lot of YouTube watching or, or stuff where you need to be typing into search fields and stuff like that, then you might want to go with something like this. If you primarily use, uh, you know, Kodi or whatever and you're just navigating menus and stuff like that, this might be a little bit cumbersome for you. So again, it depends on what you're after. But if you're looking for something that you could easily pick up at Staples or Best Buy or whatever and you got that name brand recognition along with a warranty and all that sort of thing, maybe this is what you are going to be more comfortable with in the long run. But the Logitech K400 Plus can be had for about 40 bucks uh, in my experience. I mean, depends. You know, you can get a used one as well, a little bit cheaper. But anyway, leave that up to you if you're interested. But uh, yeah, for 40 bucks, I think it's a really good uh, option for people who are looking for something that can control their laptop or Android TV box or whatever from the couch. Anyway, that's going to do it for this week. Uh, it Hopefully you got some use out of this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys all next week with another video. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.